ever wondered what the difference is between a continental, English and American breakfast? Well, you're in for a treat. In the world of hospitality, these three terms are quite common. And today, we'll explore the unique elements that define each one. First up is the continental breakfast, often considered the lightest of the three. Picture a spread of freshly baked goods, from donuts and muffins to fluffy croissants and pastries. Complementing this carbohydrate-rich selection are fresh fruits, a variety of fruit juices, along with hot beverages like coffee and tea. And of course, there's a smorgasbord of condiments to choose from, including butter, jam, cream cheese, marmalade, honey and everyone's favorite, Nutella. What's notably absent, however, are hot foods like eggs, sausages or any kind of meat. The idea behind a continental breakfast is simplicity and ease of stocking. Next, we have the English breakfast, often referred to as a full breakfast. And with good reason, this hearty meal typically includes eggs, beans, sausages, bacon or ham, roast tomato, black pudding, toast and roast mushrooms. In some establishments, you might even find fish and baked beans. And to wash it all down, there's coffee, tea or juice. Unlike the continental breakfast, sweets aren't the norm in an English breakfast, although you can certainly order them separately. Last, but certainly not least, is the American breakfast. There are some familiar elements here, such as eggs and breakfast meats like bacon, ham and sausages. But there are also distinctly American touches like steak and scrapple. One key difference lies in the preparation of the food. For instance, while English breakfasts usually serve back bacon from the loin, American breakfasts tend to be heavier on the fat, often using belly cuts. Potato products like hash browns or fries are common, as are toast, muffins, bagels and pancakes. And let's not forget the ubiquitous cereal option, served alongside a variety of fruits and beverages. So why do most hotels serve a continental breakfast, often complimentary? Well, it's all about cost-effectiveness and efficiency. Continental breakfasts don't require cooked food, which reduces the need for kitchen and service staff. Plus, it's easy to manage when served buffet style. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the world of hotel breakfasts. Whether you're a fan of the simplicity of the continental breakfast, the hearty English breakfast, or the diverse American breakfast, there's something for everyone. Now, the next time you sit down for a morning meal at a hotel, you'll know exactly what's on your plate.